Hey there, YouTube land, and today I'm trying something different. I've got my computer moved for uh, easier access for me, and uh, you can't tell the box sets that are that were there before right now because I'm moving them out into the uh, into my case anyway, to my display case. So what you can see is that's my TV in the background, some artwork, and if you look behind there, it's my Anchor Bay Blue Underground blah 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 type collections, my uh, horror and stuff like that. So I'll be sh showcasing that along the way. Anyway, today we went to. Uh, <coughs> To where was it? Oh, Best Buy. Yes, because I had to <clears throat> go. Well, I went to Walmart first because we were using the last three gift cards, and uh, we grabbed this Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U, which uh, I'm very excited to play. <clears throat> and we also picked up for like I think it was 39. Oh, yeah, although this is a price that there, there, but we paid 39 for this. So I want to open this up here. Kind of do a little unboxing of uh, the Dark Knight Trilogy. Hopefully you can see better uh, with this light here from this direction. So, my better half is a huge fan of the Christopher Nolan Dark Knight Trilogy. You are. You are. And I am an okay fan. I like, I think that Tim Burton made the best Dark Knight movies. And, uh, hands down, I think that Tim Burton did the best Batman films. A lot of people disagree with me on that. And uh, I get that, because Christopher Nolan is, at the end of the day, and he's an amazing uh, filmmaker. <clears throat> it's a limited edition, one of, it's an usual number, 141,500 were made, and this is 123,844. So, let you see that there. Love the fact it's got that, like, uh, Batman sticker. And this is actually a heftier box than I expected. So, this here comes off, as always, with these things. So, it's just basically tells you what's inside. <clears throat> the box itself has a it's very snazzy looking. I gotta say, it is way more solid than I expected it to be. So, you just lift the top off, I guess. Yeah, you do, okay. And the first thing you get is a personalized letter from Chris Renola. That's cool. Really? Yep, message from Chris Renault. That will make better <laughs> Batman movies. I promise. You liked them. They were okay. Yeah. You liked the Dark Knight and all that stuff. So, okay, this is really cool. Okay. It opens up like this. And we actually don't have one. We actually have, we got a couple of them, but we do not have Batman Begins. So this is our first time having Batman Begins on Blu-ray. So we got Batman Begins. Dark Knight, uh, the Dark Knight, which is the one that most people love the most. The Dark Knight Rises, which I think only I like, and pretty much everybody else doesn't. Uh, I thought it was fun. I thought it was hilarious. Did you? I'm guessing this is a bonus disc, and Batman and Bane. The man that would retire him. <clears throat> Next up, you have these here. I guess they're cards. I can make sure. Okay, it's my ultraviolet code. So, wow, this is actually pretty cool. So you have these like collector's cards. So, a collector's book. Is this, is this a book? Okay. So, this is a Dark Knight trilogy book. If I open the window a bit, it's a little bit brighter. It's almost too bright. And it's like a lot of cool. I don't want that to fall. Some cool stuff in here. Some of the different films. A lot of cool pictures. A lot of hilariousness when you hear. Uh, Chris Renolan's a. Uh, why did Chris Renolan let him do that, like, ridiculous voice for Batman? I got a feeling that Chris Renolan may not have totally liked Christian Bale. And, you know, maybe Christian Bale is being kind of like doing his Christian Bale type thing where, you know, he's kind of an ass. And, uh, <clears throat> Chris Renolan was like, yeah, we're going to let you go with that voice. We're, we're going to put that on the. 
Okay, so all three vehicles around here. We got the uh, the bike, the tumbler, and well, I guess most version tumbler. Isn't it? So do we take these out or do we keep these in here? Okay. So it's his atrocious tank-like versions of the uh, Batmobile, and his atrociously bad-looking tank-like version of a. Uh, of the, of the bat cycle because I'm guessing maybe Nolan didn't have enough time to bring it so that's why we get those <clears throat> that's my only d possible reasoning but okay what's this here so there's this like okay Oh wow, it's actually cool. These are very artsy. This, this is very hipsterish. I will, I cannot deny. So, in fear, this is Razo Gol. Who the hell drew this? <laughs> okay. This is the Scarecrow picture. This is the Harry Two-Face picture. These are very artistic or artsy, I guess you're called. This is the Joker. This is the most one that looks like an actual picture that I can see the Joker in. I get that. Although I don't know there's fire coming his eyes. And well the band's actually not bad. Sometimes the pit sends something back. I'm not gonna try to do that type of thing. So and this is Bane. So have you seen the art card scene? Okay. It's very artsy. That's two face. <laughs> anyway. I do not know what drugs he was on. He was painting pictures of these characters, but uh, they were good ones. And hey, it's five gigantically sized art cards and a very cool looking case. So you know this is like a Christopher Nolan thing when you take out cards that, that look like that. You know, it's it's got to be because you can kind of picture Christopher Nolan like reading the comic books with Kelly Jones drawing Batman and thinking, oh, this is brilliant. <laughs> this is totally brilliant. Should not be making fun of this. I bought it. And I really do actually like it. <clears throat> so here we are, the entire Batman trilogy in Blu-ray. Blu this is Blu-ray, right? Let's see. Yep. So, what does this have? <laughs> over 90 minutes, actually over two hours of new special features. There's nine minutes here. And that's what I'm interested in. I'm a special features guy. And I am a Batman fan. <clears throat> so there's something here called The Fire Rises, The Creation and Impact of the Dark Knight Trilogy. Yet before seen footage, rare moments, and exclusive interviews with the masterminds behind the Dark Knight Trilogy. And other industry giants, including Zack Snyder, Del Toro, Michael Mann and Damon Lindahl, Lindahl. Chris Nolan and Richard Donner conversation. For the first time, legendary, legendary directors Nolan and Donner sit down to discuss the trials and triumphs involved in bringing the two most iconic superheroes of all time to the big screen. And a lot of people are going to find this interesting too. The complete IMAX sequences from The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises. I think there's like a, I feel like not a lot in The Dark Knight, like maybe like 30 minutes or so. But I think in The Dark Knight Rises, there's like 75 to 90 minutes of it. It's like, it actually has IMAX sequences. So it'll be interesting to see that. Of course, like I said, show their reproductions of the Tumblr, the Bat Pod, and the Bat. Letter from Cri director Christopher Nolan. A large 48-page photo book of the trilogy. Mondo villain art, whoever Mondo is. Uh, guys, if you know who Mondo, this artist is, just let me know. Uh, so, uh, 
guess I should put this. We got everything put back in there? Hmm, I think I do. So I do. You got the yeah. <clears throat> But it's a really sturdy box. I'm really impressed with this. <clears throat> so this will go, and this will definitely go in the cabinet. I'll rewatch the show you again, see if I get anything. Um, more of it. Like, I, obviously, I'm a guy that, you know, I'm kind of old school. I like the older Batman. Get in there, you. And that's just my personal preference from like what I watched and uh, what I've seen. And the fact that at the end of the day, I grew up in the 80s and I have fond, fond memories of going to see the uh, Tim Burton Batmans in the theater. One with a broken leg, a busted leg. So, Dark Knight Trilogy also picked up. Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U. Actually, very excited about this one. Uh, very cool stuff. And uh, it'll be interesting to see the characters and all that. A lot of people have played this and played this on 3DS and that. I haven't played it yet, so uh, it'll be interesting to check it out. I got the uh, classic controller from my, from my Wii days. Uh, I bought one of those when I bought the Wii U. And, of course, I got the uh, Nintendo 3DS XL, which also works as a controller. And I've got a Wiimote with the uh, Wii plus on it. So that's my uh, things for today. I've got to go and check out some stuff and I will talk to you guys soon from the big lobster head which you can kind of see up there. Hey, still being all creepy looking at you. <clears throat> Hi and for me who is completely flustered hopefully this video comes out okay because I'm so tired and thirsty right now that uh, you know, I've got a lot to do. We got to do updates on the Wii U and get this here set up. So have a great one. Thanks for watching. It is time for tea and uh, sorry for seeming a little bit flustered. But uh, I am. I am a little flustered. Have a good day.